pigs in a blanket. Impeachment um, upside down cake. Impeachment upside down cake. Don't um, call me honey cake. Don't call me honey cupcakes. Which no are, more sheet cake. No more sheet cake. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kathy Gunst. And I'm Katherine Alford. And we're the authors of Rage Baking. The transformative power of flour, fury, and women's, women's voices. voices. The story behind Rage Baking is this. It was the Kavanaugh hearings. They were grilling Dr. Blasey Ford. I was glued to the radio. We were witnessing something that felt old to me. Men grilling a woman and pretending to believe her, pretending to be listening to her. And I started, I just, I felt so out of sorts. Unbeknownst to me, it wasn't conscious, I started to bake. I mean, I also found the whole process of baking such a great metaphor for transformation, change, and we just started like brainstorming about this. Not just recipes, but also the stories of so many women in there and how they respond to rage, how the kitchen has been such a grounding place for them, or, you know, Osai Endelin is talking about her mother and learning how to write, and we have poems, like amazing poems and poetry and interviews. I mean, it's, it's women's voices as well. And, you know, our fantasy was like, you know, make this, put it in the oven, and then sit down and be inspired by some of these very, very powerful women. And the really important thing about this book to say is that the baking doesn't erase the rage. It's not like we're telling women, oh honey, go back in the kitchen, mm -mm. bake yourself a cake and you'll feel fine. Hell no. This is about using the kitchen and using ingredients and, and putting things together, as Catherine said, the science of it, the way that we can produce something and be part of something larger. To say we're proud would be an understatement. Yeah, yeah. Rage on. Bake down the patriarchy.